Hello and welcome to the seventh part of um, this PDO um, uh, series. Um, in the previous ones what we've done is um, learn how to connect to the database, how to extract data using bind parameter, bind value, we've learned how to use the query, execute and a, a few other things. Now this one's going to be about bind parameter and bind value once again but using a different method um, and as you can see here using question mark one index positions uh, as parameters. So um, just as a, a refresher we're going to go um, start from the beginning and basically learn how to to do it once again. Okay so host we're just going to make some variables here is local host uh, user in this case is uh, YouTube password equals one two three four five six and then DB name equals uh, YouTube and then let's make our um, PDO object by instantiating a new PDO object itself and we start off with them with the driver which we're using is MySQL and we're going to say DB name equals then uh, DB name and we're going to use a semicolon and say host equals host and then finish that off and then put user and then pass in here okay now if this causes any problems then um, it's going to throw an exception so therefore uh, what we'll do is we'll um, put it in a try um, catch block and we'll just say PDO uh, exception and do that and then just echo um, the message nice and simple but we're not going to have any problems because we're going to connect properly so let's just um, just check our page and we're all fine okay so no no errors as expected okay so um, the next and then obviously if we did have an exception just to put an F in there for example come here and we still don't have one but if we then change the password for example and save this see there we actually get um, an exception thrown because it's been access denied okay whatever Right, so next thing um, we want to do is, is we already know if we're going further on from this point that this PDO is fine. Therefore, we don't need to do any further error checking from that one point because if it's not, then it's going to default to there anyway. Okay, um, so uh, bind parameter and bind value. Well, the first thing we need is obviously to have a PDO statement. So let's just say PDO and then prepare. And then once again, we're going to say select everything from users as before okay um, but in this one we still want to then um, select users by user ID and by name so we can just say um, where from users where uh, user ID equals and this time we're going to use a question mark and uh, name equals a question mark as well and we're going to fill these gaps in later but we have to put a question mark there um, for this to say that this is going to be a parameter this is using one index positions all right so we just say SMT and we'll say bind parameter for this one now um, just like any an array we use zero index well in this one it's one index because the first parameter starts at one all right so we're saying parameter number one is going to be equal to and obviously because bind parameter is passed by reference and not passed by value we need to define um, the variable first so we'll say uh, user ID equals one and then name equals then David Dawn so we can place in here because this is for the user ID we can say user ID and let's just copy this to be lazy and then in here we'll put name because this is the second question mark um, which is within inside of the um, the SQL statement so nice and simple this is the first one this is the second one if you added another one it would be the third one and so on okay so that's now basically uh, that bit done now we can check if SMT, SMT uh, executes so as long as that returns true then we know that our um, SQL was okay and all the binding was okay and we can basically then um, get the rows well we're kind of certain that we're only going to have one row uh, 
but for the sake of this we'll just say then uh, fetch and we'll just print our um, what we uh, what we receive back now I know I've put rows here well we're only going for one and we're intentionally by using fetch just collecting the first one anyway because we would have to call uh, fetch another time to get the second one and the third time we call fetch again so for the time being we're just going to have a good example where we know we're only going to have one so we know that user number one let's have a look on here see user ID number one and then the name is equal to David Thorne therefore we know we're going to get that data from the database so let's save it let's come to here let's just refresh it as you can see we get the data that we expected and if we just once again echo out a pre to make it that little bit more pretty and readable and as you can see we get an array returned um, with all of the relevant details as I said as well this is kind of a refresher therefore if we uh, whoops, put inside of here PDO fetch and we're going to have an object okay that is going to then tell the fetch um, fun uh, method that we want it to return a standard class come back to here refresh it again you see we get a standard class object um, with all of the properties very very simple so just for the sake of seeing um, it calls an error let's come down here and say an else statement on the execute so we know that um, we do get uh, um, an error and we we'll just say then error info so we're printing R uh, on error info so it's going to uh, return an array of the error code and also the reason let's just refresh this and see that we get invalid parameter number parameter was not defined uh, and on line 27 okay so line 27 it just was the execute it's basically because we've just put one then three so it needs to make certain that it starts um, or that the, the numbers are sequential in relation to the question marks that you put down so if you put three question marks down you need to make damn certain that you put three bind parameters or use bind value um, etc so and even if we do change this to bind value just to show you and then put David Thorne in here if I spell even my name correctly and then come back to here and refresh it you see we still get the same data regardless of the fact whether we use um, bind value bind parameter um, we need to just make certain that the um, the first arguments here is either then corresponding to um, the the parameter name as in the um, the variable that's placed here so like before we use then colon name and we then put um, colon name in here and to be quite honest with you I've never really bothered trying this um, but we're going to use both methods this time so the first question mark is going to be um, the one index so it's going to be one and the other one's going to be using then um, a variable so let's try it again shall we and as you can see there okay mixed name and um, positional in parameters so therefore that just shows you I mean I've never really tried this before to be honest with you um, that you can't mix and match them you have to either do one or the other therefore if we change this to then um, I know we got it the wrong, wrong way around actually but, uh, but let's just change that to user ID whoops put it in the wrong place just to show you here once again that everything is going to work out fine and as it does okay so there I think um, you've learnt that how to use um, bind parameter and bind value uh, just for the sake of arguments you don't actually have to use um, a colon here alright let's just remove the colon as long as the variable matches uh, to this then it will be fine let's refresh it and as you can see it's perfectly fine the point is it's just doing a regular expression and finding the key and if that key exists it knows that anything after the equal sign is going to be um, a parameter if it does find the parameter here okay so uh, the regardless of the fact that it's got the same name 
as the actual key, the column name itself, because you've declared it here, it will search for it with inside as well. And it will then know that it's um, argument or key value pair number one or key value pair number two. Um, that's basically it on using either numbers or then uh, variables for um, buying parameter. When I say variables, this is obviously then um, the variable which is being passed by reference, but I'm more uh, talking about the variable which you declare here or if you use a question mark. Okay, I hope that's not been um, too confusing for you. Um, my name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design. Um, subscribe, like, share, thumbs up, comments, contact me, uh, whatever you feel uh, is best. If you enjoyed the tutorial, um, if you didn't enjoy the tutorial, then send me feedback and tell me why. All right, and I'll be more than happy to receive um, constructive negative feedback. Okay, um, that's it. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye.